Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan battle video and today we're gonna do something a little different from my average showcases because usually when I'm trying to showcase a unit or a team, I'm trying to maximize everybody's damage output and take on the hardest events like Super Battle Road or the Legendary Goku event and so on and so forth. But today we're gonna keep it chill and all I wanna do is just showcase to you guys one of my absolute favorite teams in the game now and of course that is the dragon ball heroes category team dude i just i feel like i didn't give this team and these units the respect they deserved when i first summoned for them because you know in that video i was like you know they're kind of cool but i just don't like really feel that connection to these you know different characters from heroes i didn't grow up with them so it's like whatever right but then after i started running the units and running the team as a whole, I was like, yo, these characters are dope, man. They did such a great job with them for non Dokkan Fest, non LR units. I think the super attack animations are top tier, or at least like, you know, right up there, right, with some of the best animations in the game. And yeah, anyways, I love it now. One of my favorite categories, one of my favorite teams to run at the moment. And uh, even right now, even though we don't have a ton of heroes units, we have a good amount, right? So you have a lot of options as far as your team composition. And this is my favorite loadout right now to use. So unfortunately, the Rainbow Superfu is not my own, it is the friend, but I do have my own Superfu with uh, no dupes, but that's okay. And the rest of the team is as follows. We have the Golden Cooler, we have the Super Saiyan Cumber, we also have Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Vegeta, sorry, Goku. Uh, Super Saiyan 3 Xeno Vegeta is here as well with a single dupe, the Goku has two dupes, and then we have my Supreme Kai of Time with three dupes. Still super, super tempted to go back in, guys, for that final copy, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. Anyways, let's jump in to the newest Dokkan event at the moment on Global, which of course is the Fizz Piccolo event. And uh, with the Foos, we only have 130% boost at the moment, even though um, that's a decent boost. Obviously, I don't think it's enough. Actually, I haven't tried it. I haven't tried it. This team might be able to take on the legendary Goku event. It would be really tough though. It'd be really tough to clear that event, I think, with this team at the moment. I think it's probably possible if you get lucky, but uh, it'll be tough. So maybe I'll attempt it in a future video. But right now, like I said, we're keeping a chill. This video is just about, you know, showcasing different units, showcasing their super attack animations, and just showing you guys how freaking fun this team is and why it's one of my favorite teams right now. But uh, like I said, we only have the 130% boost from the dual uh, Fu leaders at the moment. And uh, obviously I do expect us to eventually get a better lead, like a Dokkan Fest exclusive heroes leader. It's only a matter of time. Um, and it's probably going to be something like, uh, Super Saiyan 4 Vegito or something like that, so I'm super hyped for that. Alright, so first off, we have the Super Saiyan Cumber with over a million attack from the start. Alright, over a million damage too. Keep in mind, 130% boost across the board from the Fu, alright? Um, under a 170% lead, obviously they're all going to be doing much higher damage, but look at that Fu though. That Rainbow Fu just got 1.6 million. He also sealed the Piccolo. It doesn't really matter though because he's dead. But uh, these animations, guys, just look so freaking good. And we also got the two Super Saiyan 3s together immediately, which is perfect. Yo, my rotations never work out like this when I'm trying to showcase teams. So this is, this is awesome. Okay, so now we got Goku with 1.5 mil attack. Two dupes Super Saiyan 3s, you know, Goku, by the way. 1.5 mil career right there. Amazing animation as well. Let's see what Vegeta does. Vegeta's at 1.8 mil. Yo, guys, this is on a 130% team, man. 130% team. They would be getting over 2 million right now on a 170% team. Like a Super Saiyan 3 team with a support on rotation. The damage would be pretty, pretty out of control. All right, so now we're actually getting through this pretty quickly. Um, now we have the Double Fu as well as the Super Saiyan Cumber, and the Cumber actually does have the ability to stun uh, super class enemies when they attack him, which is amazing for Super Battle Road, but I don't think this Piccolo at this stage can actually be stunned. Um, can he? We'll have to see, we'll have to see. Now one thing with the Cumber that I've noticed is that his damage is actually not as 
crazy as I thought it would be. Um, I do think the Fu actually hits harder, but uh, he has a little bit more utility overall, right? Because he has that ability to stun. Like he's he's a bit more unique. He, he's the only unit that I know. I think he's the only unit actually in the game that has this mechanic where he can stun the enemy when the enemy attacks him as opposed to the other way around. So that is kind of cool, but um, you know, I feel like the Fu is definitely a little bit more impressive overall. And I mean, the funny thing is the highlight of the banner for for myself and most people, I think. Oh crap! I didn't get the coolers. Uh, super attack off. That's my mistake. My bad. Um, I feel like the highlight of the banner is not actually any of the new units, but the token awakenings for the old units, right? Like the Super Saiyan 3 Zeno Goku, the Super Saiyan 3 Zeno Vegeta. They're just absolutely ridiculous. And uh, also, you know, the fact that the Supreme Cap Time now pretty, pretty much becomes one of the best support units in the entire game with their awakening is just amazing as well. Okay, so can this Piccolo be stunned? Because I saw, I saw the stun on the last Piccolo, so I'm not really sure if... I just want to see the guy stun, man, come on. Okay, we're getting supered. Hopefully not for too much. Hopefully we don't die here, that'd be embarrassing. Come on, yo, take it, just take it like a champ. Okay, 123k, you know what, we can live with that. We can live with that. 1.16 mil from Cumber right here. And 863k crit. Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. He did take that normal for 11 damage though. 11 damage. And yo, food is doing his thing. Yo, that animation looks so clean. Yo, but my favorite actually is this right here. The, the time judgment something. What was it called? Lightning, judgment, lightning of, but whatever, it doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter, it looks dope. Yo, my girl taking uh, well as well. Well as well. She's taking the damage, the hits. You know what I'm trying to say, man? Yo, it's early, it's early. I'm just, my brain's not working properly. Just focus on the units, don't focus on me. I can't talk right now. Um, but I love this team, guys. I really, honestly do. Like, this is actually one of my favorite teams. I try to use it for every event right now. That I possibly can. Oh, by the way, this Goku is an amazing tank. You'll see right here, he shouldn't be taking that much damage at all. Yeah, 8.7k. So damn good. So damn good. And this should finish it off. Oh, actually not. All right. Uh, Vegeta. So from what I've noticed, Vegeta isn't as good of a tank as Goku, but he does do quite a bit more damage than Goku. Like on, on average, depending on the team, he can get like 300 to 500k more attacks that than the Goku at the same dupe level. And actually this uh, this Vegeta actually only has one dupe, my Goku has two dupes. So yeah, pretty big difference between the two units as far as damage output goes. But uh, yeah, Goku is just a way better tank than the Vegeta. So I, I think it kind of balances out. Honestly, I prefer the Goku if I was choosing between the two because the added tanking ability makes him actually super, super viable on events like Super Battle Road and the Legendary Goku event. So we did the Piccolo event. I think I want to do one more just to uh, have a little bit more fun before we go. Let's go with the Vegito or Gogeta Blue event. If we can find a friend, that would be awesome. Come on, Fu. Where yeah. Oh, okay, you know what? 90% Fu, not a Rainbow Fu, but I will take this 90% Fu. Going with the same team, of course. Uh, hopefully we don't have to use any items. Hold on, is that the same team? That is the same team, okay, cool. No, I made a few different teams just to like try out the different uh, setups and um, I think I had a team with like the Great Saiyan Man 4. Like I said, you have a lot of options now, man. The Great Saiyan Man 4 is awesome. The Super Saiyan 3 Gohan is still phenomenal. Um, oh, that Super Saiyan 3 team. The new Super Saiyan 3 team with a bunch of like heroes units like the Xeno Super Saiyan 3s, the Super Saiyan 3 Gohan, Super Saiyan 3 tr uh, Trunks is really fun as well and it actually does really well. Um, I took it on Super Battle Road and I was able to beat it. I think it was a little bit more difficult than my average setup because uh, some of those guys don't tank the greatest, but uh, it's still a really freaking fun team, guys. So if you guys haven't summoned on the Heroes Banner because you were a little bit iffy about whether or not you should summon these units, whether or not they're worth it, maybe this video will convince you to do a couple multis because the good thing about that banner is that uh, it's a guaranteed featured unit with every multi, so your chances of getting shafted 
are pretty low. I mean, unless you get like the one or two units that you really don't want as the guaranteed. But uh, for, I mean, for the most part, they're all really good. Even the ones that don't have Dokkan Awakenings, like the Zeno Go Tanks and the Bajanks or Bajeks and Go Hanks, I think. I don't remember the names exactly, but you know, these rotations are working out so well. Um, I don't, I don't know the names like by heart, but. Uh, the different fusions right even though they don't have awakenings right now they're still pretty solid in their unawakened state and then once they get awakenings we know they're gonna be absolutely ridiculous just like the super saiyan 3 xeno goku super saiyan 3 xeno Vegeta, and uh, the amazing support in the supreme kai of time right so i honestly feel like it's kind of worth the summon um, but at the end of the day, it's up to you guys. So what I'm going to do actually is put the cooler rotation now so we can see him a little bit more. And of course later on we do have Gogeta Blue who is AGL so we can get that type of advantage. Alright, here we go. Let's see what the golden cooler can do. I haven't used him a ton because I literally just pulled him last night so I've run him like maybe two or three times before the showcase. So I'm actually not really sure what he can... Like what he's all about. Alright, so close to a million attack. No dupes, by the way. Alright, 541k. Additional attack. I believe he has a 30% chance of uh, getting an additional super attack. Or like, basically he gets a guaranteed additional attack, but has a 30% chance of being a super. Alright, there we go. Man, Fu does a good amount of damage. Like, <laughs> I, I wasn't super hyped for him because I was like, eh, who cares about this like new random villain? is whatever and then i saw his damage output and i saw his animation i was like okay he's pretty dope he's, he's actually pretty freaking dope all right so now we're on the gogeta blue stage actually no sorry super saiyan gogeta and we're getting supered like i said this goku is a very good tank so i don't expect him to, do, to take too much damage here hopefully a 10k look at that man look at that with the type disadvantage and everything only 10k from a super we got the crit off too, taking normal attacks for 95 damage, double digits across the board, and Vegeta doing over a million, and also taking really well. Yo, I, I kind of take that back. I kind of take that back. Yo, I was saying how Vegeta wasn't like that good of a tank. I think he's actually still pretty solid. He's not as good of a tank as Goku by any means. Goku is definitely a way better tank, but um. We gotta give him respect where it's due, man. We gotta give him respect where it's due. So as far as the defense goes, uh, Cumber has 90,000 defense. Um, Golden Cooler has 81,000, which actually is better than I thought. And then Supreme Crab Time with three dupes, 61,000 defense. So everybody's gonna be tanking pretty decently here. And we should be done here pretty soon, man. Guys, this, this team with the 130% lead, Absolutely rolling through some of the harder Dokkan events in this game. Obviously, I know Dokkan events, not much of a challenge. But as I said, we're trying to keep it chill here. So we're not going too crazy. I really want a Dragon Ball Heroes Super Battle Road stage. Like Bandai. Bandai Spice out there. If you're watching this, please, please give us a Dragon Ball Hero stage. Alright, for the next batch of uh, Super Battle Road stages because... I would run that like, that would be like the one stage to run 20 times to get the missions done because I just love this team so much. It's just such a dope team. These characters are so good, man. They did such a great job with them. Um, as I said, like for non Dokkan Fest, non LR units, I just feel like they put a lot of attention to detail. They actually like worked pretty hard on um, their super attack animations. On, uh, I mean, they gave them like really good stats and all that stuff, good passives, and <sighs> there's not much more I can say. There's not much more I can say. It's just such a great team. Look at the damage they're doing on a 30%, or it's not 30%, 130% team. 170% team, they, they get pretty crazy. They get over 2 million attacks that easily, at least the two Super Saiyan 3s, and uh, I can't wait for that Dokkan Fest exclusive. Oh, we got the dodge too. Oh, and we're getting more dodges. Yo, this man is dodging everything. Um, I just, I just, yo, I can't wait for an actual real Dokkan Fest exclusive leader with like a 170% leader skill. And we know it's going to be amazing. It's going to be something super dope like a Super Saiyan 4 Vegito or a Super Saiyan 4 Bardock. 
or uh, even Super Saiyan 3 Vegito or Super Saiyan 3 Gogeta would be awesome too because I love those two forms. Actually, Super Saiyan 3, I haven't thought about it too much, but recently people have been asking me like what my favorite form is, my favorite transformation is Dragon Ball, and I had to think about it for a bit, but I think that Super Saiyan 3 is my favorite form overall. I just feel like it's so iconic, and I just love the hair. Um, I originally, when I first saw it, I was like, the no eyebrows thing, the no eyebrows look is kind of weird, but I kind of, it kind of grew on me too. So just like overall, I think it's a super dope form, and it's probably my favorite form. Of course, yo, we're dodging everything, man. Foo, what the hell? Okay, so this should about wrap it up. Um, even though we have the type disadvantage here, I am not scared for Goku at all, because like I said, he's an amazing tank. And uh, if the you know Super Saiyan 3s don't finish it off, then our girl Supreme Type Time will definitely get the job done. Almost 1.6 mil right there. Okay, 907k crit, and then Vegeta's gonna end it off. Um, what was I saying before? I forgot, man. But yeah, amazing team. I love it. I feel like this banner is definitely... I mean, honestly, it's still skippable. It's still skippable if you guys want to save for other Dokkan Fest exclusives like the STR Super Saiyan 3. Wait, no, STR Transforming Cooler. I was thinking about Super Saiyan 3's uh, Transforming Cooler or the uh, Int Future Gohan, which should be the next Dokkan Fest unit on Global. Then, hey, it's totally justified. I totally get it. But hey, man, like, I just. I just find this team so much fun to run, and uh, I'm so glad I decided to summon. I did a little bit more than I thought I would. I did 400 stones in total, but I think every stone spent was, was, was worth it, man. I, I feel like um, I'm going to be running this team for a long time to come, and it's it's made Dokkan quite a bit more fun for me recently. I'm not going to lie. like I was getting a little bit stale, and then I pulled these units. I made this team, and I was like, yo, this is actually really, really freaking fun. Anyways. That's gonna do it for today's video. I plan to do a another showcase for the Super Saiyan 3s very soon on an actual Super Saiyan 3 team, maybe in Super Battle Road or something like that. So keep an eye out for that. But that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now, and while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.